I didn't wake you. No. Yeah? Well, I, I've been asleep for ages. You have? Mm, yeah, I seem to be very good at that these days. Mm. I think I'm confused. Why? Did you see Duke? When? Just now. He was here? Well, yeah, I mean, I assume he was. I, I just ran into him in the corridor. Um, they probably saw I was asleep and left. <laughs> well, then, would he? I'm not sure why he was so ticked off. He was angry? Yeah. At what? Uh, I think it's you. Me? Well, as near as I could figure. Why? Well, he, uh, he said that, that you didn't want him. Why would he say that? I don't know, but he ordered me to call Robert, and he said that's who you really wanted. Why in the world did he think that? I don't know, but he seemed pretty convinced. Um, you don't like to talk in your sleep, do you? Not about that. When did you see him? Well, just a, just a second ago. I mean, just before I came in. In fact, you kind of... Well, you, you I'm sure they were him. meant for you. He's still in the building. Well, well, I'll go try to find him, and it, you should figure out, you know, what you're going to say to him. Hello. Oh, hi, Terry. Hi, Sean. What brings you by? I'm looking for Robert. Robert? Uh, he's not here. No, I know he's around here someplace, and he's out with a search warrant. What? Uh, he's probably downstairs or up in the office. Uh, what is he searching the club for? You better ask Duke about that one. Is he around, by the way? No, he's not. That's good, because uh, Robert is spoiling for a fight, so the best thing Duke can do is just steer clear of him. All right. All right, uh, listen, uh, I want you... Did you find out anything? What are you doing here? Got some news. It isn't good. Uh, look, cut to the chase. Don't waste my time, or I'm busy. All right. Frisco was reported missing in action. What? Felicia received a special delivery letter from the WSB. What happened? Your guess is as good as mine. But the Bureau went through its standard notification. You know the drill? We regret to inform you. That's the one. Well, did you get any more information? Well, I have talked to every source I have. At and? Course. And? Nobody is talking, and I mean nobody. Not even to you? Look, my clearance doesn't mean a thing down there right now. Whatever Frisco was into, whatever he was doing, he was in deep cover, and that's as top secret as it gets. And when an agent disappears on a mission like that, he seldom turns up. What about Felicia? She's not good. Listen, uh, you finish up here. It's a waste of time anyway. I'm heading back to uh, headquarters. You can find me there, right? Right. I'll call up my contact at the WSB, and maybe I can learn something. Good, because... Police is desperate for any kind of wordy climb in the walls. Come on, let's see what we can find. Out. <gasps> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. How long have you been standing there? Not long. How much did you hear? Don't be embarrassed. I mean, this is no place for hiding your feelings. I couldn't if I tried. Churches are sanctuaries. A lot of folks come here just because they've got nowhere else to go. Why are you here? Because it makes me feel good. I hope it does the same for you. I... I don't mean to bother you. I mean, I can go or I can stay. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. You can stay.
Hello. Hello. Thank you for the flowers. Very welcome. What's the matter? Don't you know? Oh, I don't know. Why did you tell Amy I didn't want to see you? You made it perfectly clear who you wanted to see. Robert? Now, when did I say that? You know, the women who talk in their sleeps, they shouldn't try to keep secrets from their husbands. What did I say? You said, Robert. Robert, I love you, Robert. I said that? Yeah. Um, well, I don't, I was dreaming about, um, a tunnel or something. There's usually a tunnel, and uh, Robin was there, and I wish. Wait, did I say Robert or Robin? But I assumed it was it was Robin. What exactly did you hear me say? Well, I I heard you say uh, <laughs> Rob, Rob, and then I well then I ran oh, I ran out. Come up. on, you idiot! I wasn't. I was calling to my daughter. I wasn't saying I love Robert. I was calling to my daughter. You're not just saying no, that. No, I'm not just saying that. I feel like I feel like such an idiot. Under the you circumstances. Just give me a hug, for goodness sake. Please. Oh, I missed. Oh. You idiot, you idiot. Honestly. I couldn't believe it when you were gone. I kept thinking, what am I going to do when it comes to you? Don't let anything happen to me. I promise I won't. I love you so much. You clever man. Oh, yeah. What? Well, you found me, didn't you? Or did you just come with Robert? Well, what difference does it make who found you? You're here, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We're together. Yes. We're gonna be a family again. I can't wait to see Robin. How is she? Is she all right? Can I, can I see her today? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. Hi. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to find out how the patient was doing. She's doing great. Obviously. <laughs> She's doing very, very great. <laughs> She'd feel even better if she could see her daughter. Maybe she can see her daughter today. Of course she can, but she can make it a very short visit. Okay. And I'm going to talk to Tony and Monica later on, and if they approve, we're going to send you home tomorrow. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, that's great. Not, not that I don't want to stay or anything. I understand but, yeah. that. But you will try to rest between now and then, won't you? Yes, I will. I can't wait to be home. <laughs> I'm going to call Bobby over at the Brownstone and see if she can bring Robin over this afternoon. Okay. Do me a favor, will you? Try and let the patient get some rest, will you? I'll be gentle. I know. You tell Bobby to hurry. I will. Bye-bye. <laughs> There's your take up. Thank you, Uncle. What's going on with you? Do you know, I haven't seen you since Tom and Simone's wedding. Well, I've been working. I've been taking care of Robin, fiddling around the brownstone. Well, you should check in daily. Are you avoiding me for some reason? Why would I do that? Honey, it's Ruby. I can read you like a book. You're covering up something like math. How much do I owe you for the hot dog? It'll cost you nothing but information. Usually, when you avoid me, you're doing something you know I wouldn't approve of. No. You want my general lecture? Or do I get specific ammunition? I've got to run, Ruth. I'll see you later. Probably not. Well, whatever is going on is going on. What did Legory say? Well, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to speak to him. Why not? Well, when I got back to the club, he'd gone. Uh, probably went to see Anna. I waited a while and then I came back. I'm telling you, we're wasting our time. Let's go back to New York City. My colleagues and I will decide how to deal with your new friends. Uh, no. Now look, I need to speak with Lavery alone. And there's no point in you hanging around Point Charles. Why, why don't you fly home? I'll join you later when we've had our little talk. When will that be? This afternoon, most likely. I'll see you tonight. Hopefully I'll have the good news that he's agreed to rejoin the organization. I'm not sure that's good or bad news. Stop. I know what I'm doing. 
I hope so, Julian. For both our sakes. See you tonight. Well, at this stage, you know as much as I do. Frisco's disappeared. The WSB aren't talking, so I've got to try to loosen up a few tons. Okay, so what's the odds that Frisco's still alive? Do control until we find out more. Well, this is what I want to do right now. Listen, there's anything I can do to help. We won't hesitate. You call in the bureau? Yeah. Hopefully, I can get someone to talk and put our worries to rest. Or confirm our worst worries. Well, at least tell us the truth one more. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio here. Yeah, look, I want to speak to uh, the director of operations right away. Will an interrupt him? This is important. Tell him I want to know what's happened to Frisco Jones. If you're staying on my account, it isn't necessary. I'm okay. Are you? Did you hear me say my husband was missing? Yeah. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. It's not a secret. Can you tell me what happened? Not exactly something you want to talk about with a near stranger, is it? I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to sound like I was prying. I just thought maybe you needed a sympathetic ear, is all. I need something. Well, you know, sometimes it helps to... Talk these things out, either to God or, or to a friend or just someone who's willing to listen. And you're that someone. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm here. I don't know where to start. I'll just pick it up any old place and we can piece it together as we go. My husband, Frisco Jones, was, is, a WSB agent. He's been gone for many months. He's called me a couple of times. We've written some letters to each other, and he made one short visit home. But basically, we've been apart for what seems like years. And then, yesterday, I received this. Missing in action. What? Does that mean something special to you? Oh, yeah. I guess you could say that. You don't want to talk about it, do you? You see, I was MIA, too. You? Yeah. And I lived to tell about it. What happened? Well, the details aren't really important. And thank God that my family never got a notification like this. I'm sure if they had, they'd have been just as shattered as you must be right now. It's as if the bottom fell out of my life. You would think that the least that WSB could have done is to show a little compassion in the way that they broke the news to you. All I want is just some more information. You mean this is it? Yeah, can you believe it? They steal your husband from you, and then they lose him who knows where, and then they don't even bother to say they're sorry. So you really haven't a clue as to where Frisco might be? No, I don't. And as far as I know, this is just the WSB's way of saying... That made me dead. You know, somebody said that very same thing about me. Look, I'm still around. Are you saying that Frisco could be alive, too? I know anything is possible. And if you believe that there is even the slightest chance that your husband may be alive, I think you owe it to yourself and to Frisco to prove it. How? You'll never have a moment's peace until you know for sure. And you'll never forgive yourself if you don't at least try to find him. 
Thanks, Colson. You sure? I didn't do anything. No, you listened to me. You comforted me. But what's most important, you gave me hope. And now I know what I have to do. 